Hey guys, what's up? I'm Rohit Khurana, your host on Intellect Digest, and we are back again with another budget smartphone, the Lava Iris X1, which is the latest KitKat series smartphone and comes at a very budget price of under 8,000 rupees. Yes, this is priced at around 1,000 rupees higher than the Micro Max Unite 2 as well as the Moto E from Motorola. In this video, I'm going to quickly unbox, show you the box contents, what all you get with the phone. I'll give you my first impressions, build quality review camera samples as well as a quick benchmark of the Lava Iris X1. I'll give you a quick comparison with the Micro Max Unite 2 that we have got here. So the first thing that we get in the box is the Lava Iris X1. A nicely finished white color unit that we have here. Let me keep this aside and dive further in the box and we get a standard micro USB cable. There is a flat cable earphone. This is anti-tangle. This is new. For a budget phone we have not seen flat cable anti-tangle earphones and these are in the ear type. These are better than what you get with the Micro Max Unite 2 as well as the Moto E from Motorola. Let me keep this aside as well. There is a standard wall charger, nothing new here. This is the 1800 mAh battery. Minded that the Unite 2 comes with a 2000 mAh battery and also the Moto E comes with a 1980 which is approximately 2000 only. You get some user manuals and this is something that you don't get with the other phones which is a premium leather flip cover let me quickly open it and show you the quality this one is actually a replaceable back cover so what you need to do is that you need to replace the existing back with the new flip cover that you get with this one let me quickly open this one so here you can replace this with the flip cover back and your phone becomes ready to use this flip cover which looks very nice and premium the touch and feel of this cover is very good it is leather from the front as well as the back so it looks pretty nice let me quickly give you a hardware overview and then we'll talk about the software and interface also in the box you get a screen protector which has been bundled which is a plus let me quickly pop in the battery and while it boots i'll give you a hardware tour of the phone itself so let me put the back cover on this is a replaceable battery as you can see and the build seems very interesting and nice so this is the power button on the right hand side there is some plastic on the screen let me get rid of it and this is the actual look of the device this is a 4.5 inch display at front with a 480 by 800 pixel display resolution which is almost the same as you get on Unite 2 which we have got here as you can see these phones are very comparable in size as well the Micro Max is slightly larger at 4.7 inch there is a front facing 2 megapixel camera here there are some standard sensors earpiece and 3 touch capacitive buttons on the bottom of the Lava Iris X1 the left hand side gets a volume rocker key all the sides get this silver finish and this is fake metal this is plastic actually there is a small indent which is the primary microphone hole and on the rear you get an 8 megapixel camera sensor this is higher than what you get on a Micro Max Unite 2 and there are dual LED flash as you can see here there is a single LED flash and in this case you get dual LED flash there is also a secondary mic hole for noise cancellation which you find on Moto E but it is missing on the Micro Max Unite 2 on the top you get a standard micro USB port for charging as well as data syncing followed by a 3.5mm audio jack under the hood you get sim card slots so sim 1 is a micro sim sim 2 is a standard size mini sim and there is a micro SD card slot as well this phone comes with a 4GB internal memory and you can install a micro SD card of up to 32GB capacity on this one let me quickly set this up and get back and here we are at the start screen of the Lava Iris X1 and it does look very pretty. The colors here look much natural and much real compared to what we see on the Micro Max Unite 2 which are overly warm and look like a yellowish tinge when compared to what you see on a Lava Iris X1. Also the camera at the rear is more capable. Let me do a quick camera comparison between these two by clicking a picture of the same object and see how they perform against each other so I'll quickly switch to the camera mode here and this one comes with an 8 megapixel sensor and this is a BSI 2 sensor so let me see how the picture has come out and let me try the same click with a Micro Max here When comparing these two shots, as you can see the clarity of picture is very good on the iris 
and let me see how the picture has come up with the Micromax and it is as good on Micromax as well. Besides being a lower resolution camera, the performance and the real life delivery of results on these two is not much different. However, if you can see or notice that the display is looking much alive and more natural on the Lava Iris compared to a Micromax which is looking a bit dull. This is because of the display properties which is a bit dull and yellowish whereas it is more natural and the color are more real when you see on the Lava Iris X1. It also looks to be more premium the way it has been designed. It looks much smarter compared to the Micromax uh, Unite 2 that we see on the other hand. This is much plain and simple build and this one looks more premium. Although this is not real metal, this is fake metal, but this does look very smart and interesting to look. After camera comparison, let's talk about the performance and benchmarks. On the Lava Iris X1, we get a score of 12,282. When comparing this to the score of Micromax Unite 2, this is much higher at 17,441. This is a 1.3 GHz quad core CPU whereas this is a 1.2 GHz quad core CPU but the architectures are different this is by Broadcom this is by MediaTek and also on Moto E we get a score of around 12,000 only so in terms of performance the Lava Iris X1 is more comparable to Moto E whereas the Micromax Unite 2 is still ahead of the other two phones because it has a much faster chipset let me also show you Nina Mark 2 graphics benchmark comparison so that you can get a fair idea of the performance when it comes to gaming graphics as well so on the Lava Iris X1 we get a score of 45.4 frames per second and as you can see it is also powered by a Broadcom Video Core 4 GPU whereas we get much higher rates on the Micromax Unite 2 as well as on Moto E when it comes to video recording capabilities the Lava Iris X1 as well as the Micromax Unite 2 both can record high definition videos but the Moto E cannot record high definition videos the video resolution on Moto E is 854 by 400 let me also quickly give you a demo of gameplay to give you a real feel of the graphics quality of this phone as well as the touch responsiveness as you can see the touch is responding properly well but I can see a bit of a stutter in graphics here it's not as smooth as we noticed it was on the Moto E as well as on the Micromax Unite 2 there is slightly some lag which I can observe here which I really don't like this is probably because of the Broadcom processors we have seen earlier on the Broadcom processor phones also by Zolo, the Zolo Opus and other phones that we have seen they are slightly laggy and they are not as competent when it comes to the phones which have the MediaTek or the Snapdragon processors by Qualcomm. We'll keep you updated on a detailed review in our upcoming video so make sure that you subscribe. Quickly running you through the specifications, the Lava Iris X1 is powered by a 1.2 GHz quad core CPU has 1 GB of RAM, runs Android KitKat 4.4 right out of the box and comes very close when it comes to the specifications of the Unite 2 as well as Moto E. The Moto E is lowest in terms of the specifications when it comes to processor. The Lava Iris X1 is a 1.2 GHz quad core whereas the Unite 2 is a 1.3 GHz quad core CPU. All three have 1 GB of RAM and 4 GB internal memory and you get expandable memory cards capability on all three phones. And the Lava Iris X1 also allows you to install applications on the memory card. We'll give you a much detailed review of the X1 very soon so stay tuned by pressing the subscribe button. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up by pressing the like button below. This is your host Rohit Kurana signing off. Thanks for watching.